chair recognize the gentleman from Lynn, Representative Reiser, to present today's honoree for African American History Month. Thank you, Madam Speaker. In honor of Black History Month, I'd like to share with you the story of an African American who continues to have an enormous impact upon everyone he touches. Command Chief Master Sergeant Anthony Brinkley. In honor of Chief Brinkley, I will abide by his five B's of public speaking. Be brief, brother, be brief. Chief Brinkley had a tough childhood in Stanford, Connecticut. His father was a rolling stone, so his mother, who was a strong woman, raised him. He had a gun pulled on him in fourth grade and frequently got into racially charged fights. It was during one of these fights that he realized the, quote, truth was that we must change the world rather than let the world change us. He joined the Air Force to escape his past and become a man. With the help of good mentors and a strong faith, he straightened out his life and rapidly achieved the highest enlisted rank of Chief Master Sergeant. My first memory of Chief was in Korea during a wing run. At the conclusion of the run, one of the airmen had a heart attack. As the EMTs were applying the paddles to resuscitate the airmen, Chief Brinkley went down on a knee to pray. A hush fell over the crowd and 1,000 airmen joined him on our knees praying for our wingmen who miraculously made it through. That was neither the first nor the last time Chief interceded for others. As the senior enlisted man at Joint Base Andrews, Chief Brinkley made it his mission to look out for sailors, soldiers, airmen, and Marines. He once told me, Sir, when I sit at the table with all you officers, I'm usually the only enlisted guy in the room. I never forget that I'm there to represent all those enlisted who don't have the opportunity to be in that room. Chief had the courage to speak truth to power, the integrity to always do the right thing, and a love for his fellow service members, particularly those who needed a little extra help to achieve their full potential. Chief Brinkley has since retired from the service, but he continues to teach resiliency and leadership through his books, poetry, speaking, and coaching to such organizations as the USC football team, countless universities, and the rookies of the NFL. Command Chief Master Sergeant Anthony Brinkley, an African American who overcame enormous odds, continues to change the world. He is an example for all of us. Thank you, Madam Speaker.